The babies won't let me sleep, she told cops after Thursday's arrest, said prosecutors. I just gave up and stopped caring. I didn't care about the babies. That's why I poisoned them, said their mother. At first, prosecutors said the mother tried unsuccessfully to poison the 46-day-old infants by mixing pond soil into their milk. She then placed Dakota face down in a bathtub, running the hot water over the baby's body until the tiny girl stopped crying. Kilpatrick wrapped the infant into a blanket, stuffed her into a plastic bag, and laid the baby beneath the kitchen sink, according to prosecutors. She next placed little Dallas face down in the bassinet and pushed a knife into the back of his neck, then laid a blanket over his corpse, prosecutors said. Though the bodies were found Thursday after the accused killer's cousin called police for a welfare check, prosecutors said the death possibly took place as early as Monday. The babies won't let me sleep, she told cops after her Thursday's arrest, said prosecutors. I just gave up and stopped caring. I didn't care about the babies. That's why I poisoned them. St. Patrick also, St. Patrick was also placed under a doctor's care while in custody on charges of murder, endangering the welfare of a child and weapons of possession. Twin babies in Queens. Just a short time ago, the mother of the children was arrested and now faces criminal charges. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes is live in Woodside, Queens, with the latest Andrea. Dick and Christine neighbors are calling this an unconscionable crime. Within the last 45 minutes, we've learned from police that 23-year-old Denasia Kilpatrick is facing charges, including murder, in the deaths of her twin babies. One candle burned for two murdered babies outside the Woodside houses in Queens. Police say 46-day-old twins, Dakota and Dallas Bentley, were found dead inside their fifth-floor apartment. It hit hard because I was crying last night when I heard it. The innocent baby, they didn't deserve that. Neighbor and mom of three, Nicole Bickett, says she never saw the young family living on the other side of the hall. Whoever harmed the baby need to go to hell because they was innocent. The NYPD crime scene unit spent the day processing the scene, a home that turned into a house of horrors for this little brother and sister. Police say their mom's cousin called 911 yesterday concerned about the babies. Sources say the mom told officers, I do not want them, when they arrived for a wellness check around 3.15 yesterday afternoon. Investigators found one of the babies in a crib with what appeared to be stab wounds. Officers questioned the mother about the second baby, and she pointed towards the sink. That's where they found the baby's twin, also unresponsive and wrapped in a pink blanket in a bag under the sink. Police recovered a knife from the scene and took 23-year-old Denisia Kilpatrick in for questioning. Sources say she has an extensive psychiatric history in Yonkers, where she recently moved from. Police records show she was accused in at least one domestic violence incident involving her sister. As for this case, residents say it's just heartbreaking. For me, it's like in shock, you know what I'm saying? Killing two make no sense. The city medical examiner is determining exactly how those twins died. Meantime, police sources say Kilpatrick lived here alone with her children. Again tonight, she is facing numerous charges, including murder. Reporting live in Woodside, Queens, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. It's heartbreaking, Andrea. Thank you. Excuse me for saying St. Patrick when it's actually Kilpatrick. But um, Kilpatrick's sister will usually uh, travel from Yonkers to go and help her out with the kids. Um, she also later on stated that she didn't know who the baby's father was. So she was actually doing everything alone. But like her sister said, she will go there whenever she has some chance, like whenever she has some time to help her out with the kids or whatever it is. But man, these kids are 46 days old, man. You feel me? Man, usually mothers are like loving to us, their kids, but man, we live in strange times to where, you know, we see a lot of mental health issues right now. It's a lot of mental health cases, man, and people are breaking down, you know, and 
for somebody to actually just say, you know, I didn't care anymore. I just stopped caring, you know, after 46 days of being a parent. You know, that's that's crazy. 46 days of being a parent. That that's that's a lifelong deal. You know, that's a marriage without you getting married. You know, but she couldn't deal with it. You know, mental health. What other reason would there be for a mother to put her kids through the kind of torture this young lady did to her kids? You know, man, we gotta watch for the signs. And honestly, with this mental health stuff, man, you gotta, we, we all gotta watch for the signs. And we gotta start, you know, actually trying to get people some help, you know. We gotta watch for the signs and, and if you know somebody who you know that they have mental health issues, you know, talk to them, talk to them about it. It might be a little, you know, not willing to at first, but don't force it. Whenever you get a chance, man, just, you know, bring it back up and just let them know that you're there for them or whatever it is, because as we can see, man, this thing is really, really taking a toll on people. We had two brothers who actually plotted to kill themselves, but before they, they did it, they ended up killing the whole family because they felt like the family would miss them too much. You know, mental health. And then we got these, we got, we got this young lady right here, you know, killing her twins, killing her twins. Because she just got tired, she gave up. That's mental health, man. You know. She's known to have um, mental health problems. I think for that alone, she shouldn't have been left alone with, with, with some kids, but it's crazy, man. Like her not knowing who the kid's father is, you know. It's a good chance she probably, uh, she probably knows, but she can't admit it in order to get housing. Man, you know how this shit go, man. But that's 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 a show for a whole nother time, man. Let's talk about this in the comment section, man. This is sad, man. Like I always ask y'all, man, what would it take for a mother to kill her kids or for a kid to kill mom, dad, or whatever it is, man? You know? And man, mental health right now seems to be the one. That's crazy. Yo, let's all watch our surroundings. You know, watch our loved ones. You know, you talk to people if you need to talk to somebody. Don't just, you know, feel like you're strong-minded and you can deal with things on your own. You know, nobody is that strong, man. Eventually, you're gonna need to talk to somebody. So if you have any, if you have something going on, you got some problems, man. Don't just, you know, what I mean, keep it to yourself. Talk about it if it's if it needs to be talked about. You know, mental health is real. Man. It's real. Protect your mental health the best way you can. You know, let's talk about it in the comment section, man. This is sad, y'all. Till next time.